Today we are once again back in solo queue. I honestly had a tough time against a Natalia in my last game, so I guess she's going to ban jail today. And once again, I have this feeling that nobody from our teammates wants to do jungle, so I guess we should. But the question is, which hero should we pick? How about this edgy lady? I can't remember last time I played her, so uh, this should be fun. And for this special occasion, I think we're gonna use this trial card. It looks awesome. Come on, Moonton, when is that 1-1 one, one nerf gonna push through? I'm sick and tired of seeing her in every game. But that is fine, I guess. It'll eventually happen soon, but for now, let's focus on jungling. I don't even know if Benedetta is an okay jungler right now. I guess we'll have to find out for ourselves. Well, it doesn't really feel fast or slow in uh, trying to kill this red buff, but it's okay. It didn't really take us that long. And what are you doing, Thick Panda? We're not going to kill Ricky. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try and see what the enemies are up to. Maybe they're trying to still get their blue buff, or maybe they're faster than us in killing jungle monsters, which is uh, really the case. This walking salad belongs to me though, so it really doesn't matter how fast you kill jungle monsters, it's how you secure our salad. Meanwhile, here in the top lane, it looks like our pet panda has spotted the enemy jungler. And not just an enemy jungler, it's a level 3 enemy jungler, so it's really easy to... Calm down Shin, he's a good panda, he meant well, he was only trying to help. Besides, there's still a lot of action to be found here in the bot lane. Look at that, a 1-1 one -one with 1-1 one -one HP. Haha, <laughs> that's a good one. Alright, I think we had enough fun in the top lane. We're gonna do our job, and that is to take this turtle suit. But first, we gotta take care of this Karina in this badang. But this turtle suit isn't going to secure itself. Ooh, I didn't realize that Benedetta's ultimate is a good counter to Badang's ultimate. And in case you don't play Benedetta, let me tell you what Ricky told me about her passive. This bar fills up every time you hit something with your basic attacks or your skills. And it fills up whenever you charge it or you hit the enemy three times. So one basic attack and skill one that counts for two hits fills it up immediately. It's okay to abuse upside down Ricky, am I right? Okay, actually we don't have to. Why abuse upside down Ricky when we can always just abuse this Karina? Oh crap, I think she still got the red. It doesn't matter though, because I know of a great way to remove the buff that she got. And that is to kill her if she just stands still. Come on now. Uh oh. Okay, it seems like Aurora also knows how to remove my buffs. So I guess we'll be um, not getting any buffs right now because there is no buff to be found. Instead, we have a group of enemies here who think that they are safe. They are definitely because they have flicker. But it looks like our pet panda is really good at humping Karina towards this wall. So we better make sure that his efforts are not in vain. And I really hate that freaking Aurora. Could you, uh, could you freeze someone else? Just for once, please. Alright, you know what? There is no problem that cannot be solved by a turtle soup. And I'm pretty sure we can get this as long as our teammates don't die around us near the turtle. But that is fine because this turtle is still our turtle. And our panda is doing a great job again for catching this jungler. Hopefully we can get her before our teammates decide to help us here. Okay. Great job. Thanks Thanks for the help, Zilong, with that uh, Helkert's uh, kid here. It almost got me. You saved my life. And we are back to the jungle. We're getting our buffs. Very exciting. Anything else happening around the map? Okay. Something is happening in the top lane and we are losing towers. So I guess we should hang around here and try to catch that Karina, but she runs really fast. Meanwhile, this Badang looks like he's alone and he looks like he doesn't want to fight me. But actually, he doesn't want to fight me when he's not under his tower. I'm not gonna dive you in there. Instead, we are going to the bot lane and see if we can help out our good buddy Zilong with his all these problems. I don't know how fed or unfed this guy is, but 
If everyone's going to be staying under their tower, then we really don't have anything to do there, don't we? So instead, let's do our one job in making sure our teammates have their share of gold from murdering this turtle. But I feel like I am getting cornered by Karina and this Badang here, so better get out of here, actually. A turtle is worth risking our life for, which is totally not worth it because we just got ourselves trapped in there, didn't we? Meanwhile, in the top lane, we got our panda who um well i guess just decided to take a tower instead which is also good so i'm not salty about that that we didn't get any help from anyone in our team when we we're trying to take that turtle let me just get back to the business of uh securing our kill okay i was gonna say this red buff but karina presented herself to me and we all know that nobody can resist a presentation like that I think we are slowly losing our advantage from the early game if we had any advantage but I gotta do something and that something could be this one one. Uh oh she's completely ignoring me and going for that Moscow. Don't worry spear boy. She's probably going to get nerfed soon so hang in there. How about I toss some salad for you to make you feel better. Freaking Aurora. It's you again. Could you not use your flicker every time you see me? Also, I need to get out of here. I am in grave danger, guys. I am a damsel in distress. And thank you for helping me, Mr. Spearboy. Just realized that we have two Spearboys in our team. I'm getting confused now. Okay, aside from losing teamfights, we seem to also be losing focus on maintaining our lanes. So I guess it's up to me to be on the lookout if there's a bunch of minions who's trying to destroy our tower. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, it looks like our panda is trying to catch a prey again, and this time it's this cat girl. It doesn't look like a very successful hunt, because now our panda is very injured and the entire enemy team has surrounded us. I'm sorry, Mr. Panda, that was a very unsuccessful hunt. Also, what is that Odette doing there? I guess she was trying to get a maniac with her ultimate that she couldn't even use before she died. Also, Moskov, what have you done? I smell Ricky's blood on you. And like I always say guys, the best time to get Mr. Krabs gold is every time, so late game is not too late. But I think it's too late for our teammates to get away from that nasty Aurora who kills every one of my teammates, including me, every single time. Come on, just die once. There we go. Guys, two of the enemies are dead. I think it's the best time to get double killed by Badang. What the heck? That Badang is turning into a big problem now. Oh wow, can I outrun all this ult or do I only need to outrun Odette? I'm just kidding. I'm not going to sacrifice our mage to save our life. Besides, what's the point of building a tanky Benedetta if we're not going to take a few punches from this Aldus? Unfortunately, we have Karina who was focused on Odette's exposed butt. This is not good guys, we had the chance to take the Lord earlier, but now we don't because we got a 1-1 one -one here and I'm pretty sure that she's not working alone because she's probably with this Aurora again, very annoying. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Time every single stun that she gives me? That is crazy, I'm not some pro at this hero. All I can do is dash around and uh, wait for a Karina to pop up right in front of my face. Hey, come back here. Don't you know that you are injured and you need to go back to base? I was trying to give you a shortcut. And this is how you show me gratitude by getting your teammates to attack me. Okay, you know what? Uh, let's do our plan B this time. I'm just going to split push. It looks like the enemies are experts now in killing our panda because he's dead all the time. And I can't really do much, especially with this Badang getting stronger and stronger. Come on guys, don't give up. Just uh, stop dying and uh, maybe we'll have a bright future ahead of this game. Yep, we are slowly falling apart I think. The enemies are doing lord, but we probably should get rid of this Karina because she's eating all our teammates. Actually, we only have one teammate alive and it's this panda. Okay, panda, I think our game plan right now is to run away because we're not dealing enough damage to take down four enemies. Wait a minute. That's pretty good. She went and killed Karina, but the entire enemy force is chasing him. I wish you luck. I mean, I really want to stop you from getting extinct, but I want to stop this minion wave from destroying our mid lane tower as well. Okay, it looks like the enemies finally got our panda. Don't worry panda, your death was not in vain. But Odette, what are you doing there? You didn't have to die after that panda. You could have just uh, defended our base. Is she doing this on purpose? I can't tell anymore. 
for now, let's slap this Badang because he really needs to chill. Okay, the enemy Lord is gonna go through our top lane, so that means that we can sneak through here and get this tower, but our teammates might need our help, right? But who's going to help me against this Aldus? I really shouldn't fight him alone. He's probably gonna get back up real soon. Come on, are you really gonna ult me because you're a hater because I have dashes and you don't? Yes, you are. Doesn't matter though because I'm already at my base and should I fight this guy? I mean I could but I'm afraid that they might delete our teammates again. This Karina though looks like she's alone so that's not gonna be a problem. And since the enemies have two people dead we may be able to take down an objective finally. So let's start by taking down this mid lane tower. And I saw that Badang in there. Better strike first before he punches our teammates. Okay I'm not sure why I ulted right there but... I feel like we have to get out of here as fast as possible. God dang it, I'm not dead, aren't I? Come on guys, that was a good opportunity to free hit, but not anymore because that Aurora went behind our back. Crap, that Ice Lady is really sneaky. And now I think they're aiming for our mid lane. Can I stop these guys from destroying our base? Maybe we can, but Ice Lady jumped right in and killed our Zilong. What the heck? Now what am I gonna do? Only one thing, and that is to keep on fighting. And now that our teammates are alive, we might have a chance to finally take down this Ice Queen. All we gotta do is kill her, there we go, and all of our problems should be solved. But I'm gonna keep pushing this lane guys, so please take care of yourselves. Don't lose a 3 versus 4 fight in the Lord area, just keep them away, we don't really need to do Lord. What we need is to take down more objectives and hopefully the enemies go here to the top lane so that my teammates can focus on the Lord. And it looks like we got the attention of two enemies here while our teammates are murdering that Lord. That's very good. So good job team and you are welcome. I don't mind distracting the enemy team if you guys are gonna be securing objectives like that. Okay, this is a pretty strong Lord now. It's almost 20 minutes. And there should be no problem in taking down this tower once and for all. Very nice. But that's just step one in making an epic comeback. And step two would be keeping this Aldus away from our marksman for as long as we can. Our marksman can't free hit though so that's a big problem. But Badang is in our top lane. I guess we'll leave that to Zilong because right now we gotta focus on killing these enemies, especially this nasty Aurora who seem to be bursting our teammates left and right. But our uh, backline got assassinated, probably by this Badang. I really have no time to spend with you, I'm sorry. I know that you're probably gonna beat me. So I'll just focus on defending nothing because they got that tower. But that is fine, we still have one tower at the bot lane and this Badang has got to die. Oh crap, that's a lot of damage we're taking. Wait, I better heal up first before we die. But we got immortality, don't we? So we don't need to fear anything a few seconds ago. But right now, I really gotta heal. Alright, where are the enemies? I am full HP again and I don't think I can get bursted by either this mage or this marksman. But since we decided to build really tanky, we couldn't assassinate them as well. It's a good thing that Moskov is getting one-shotted by Aurora. Nice work though, you almost got that 1-1. One -one. Almost. Wait a minute. Did I die to Aldus's vengeance? Did that really happen because I ulted him? I think it did. And he also has dire hit, what the f- Come on Panda, just live a few seconds longer and wait for us and um, well you did your part I guess. But now that we are alive, all I gotta do is uh, make sure that I keep these enemies busy before they hit our tower. Okay, that hurts a lot. Doesn't matter though because I can always just heal up and we are still against 5 enemies. I really need to take down one of them at least and we can start with baiting this Aurora's freeze. Now she doesn't have freeze. But what she does have is a lot of teammates and a lot of minions who are all determined to end the game and award us with a really bad ending because this game ended with this defeat selfie. But not just a defeat selfie, a dead defeat selfie.
But that is fine because like I always say, it's not Christmas every day. You can't expect Santa to bring you victories in victory selfie every single day of the year, right? Also, spoiler alert, Santa does not exist. It's just your parents who put the gifts there when you're not looking. But again, my name is Shin Min Takizo. I hope you still enjoyed watching this game even though we lost. It's just uh, unfortunate that the enemies are better than us and our team. What matters is we tried our best. So hit that like if you enjoyed this video. Check out our recent uploads for the many and different heroes we played in the past. If you want to see me play your favorite hero right now, you can go to YouTube and search for Shinmen plus the hero name or just wait for me to upload one. Remember to subscribe to our channel as it helps us out a lot and always remember to stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourself and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Now I'm a little motivated.